again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Vandalia by the Way. My name is Rich Hopkins. I'm the communications manager for the city. And on today's program, we are going to get you ready for springtime. We'll let you know what you can do with a house full of kids home for spring break. We also have information you'll need to know if you're planning a spring or summer home improvement project. And talking about spring cleaning, what do you do with the material you have that you can't really throw away? Today we're here at Special Waste Systems. This is a company that specializes in recycling those types of items. And coming up in April, they're going to have a special recycling day just for the city of Andalia. We all have those items in the house, items that have outlived their usefulness. Old TVs, computers, big appliances. But where do you take them when you want them out of your house? Ray Harris of Special Waste Systems says taking those items to his company's processing center on Shoals Drive is a much better option for all involved over simply throwing those items away. One of the main things that we do is recycling and processing the electronic type equipment, which would include anything that operates off of a battery or plugs into the wall. Uh, we basically process anywhere between 300 to 500,000 pounds a month of material which was at one time destined to the landfill, but we keep that from going into the landfill. Special Waste Systems processes thousands of pounds of recyclable material every week. And believe it or not, 99% of what is taken in is reclaimed and recycled, with just 1% ending up in a landfill. So it all comes in, it gets staged here, and basically what our guys will do then is go through all these Gaylord boxes and separate all the different units, the CPUs, the printers, wires, and stuff like that. Uh, once they get those separated, if they need additional teardown, then they'll go to those sections over there. And that's what those guys are doing is tearing down uh, the different units. So we will destroy uh, confidential information material. It could be weapons for the police departments. It could be uh, uh, off-spec product, reclaimed product. So we recycle uh, and process that material. Now these here are really unique. These are your uh, rear projection screen TVs. And basically what we do with these, uh, each one of those uh, picture tubes uh, contains a uh, ethylene glycol coolant in the back of it. So we basically have to take those all the way apart. We separate the coolant out and we've got a recycler that will reclaim that and reuse it. The company moved to Vandalia in 2011 after spending the last seven years in Miamisburg. To get acquainted with their new hometown, the company is opening its doors to Vandalia residents for free. Uh, we decided to have a uh, recycling day because of Earth Day coming up in, around that same time frame. We'd like to be able to introduce ourselves to the community, to the general public, by offering a free recycling. Uh, for that day, it'll be uh, on April 21st, which will be a Saturday. Uh, operating hours will be 9 to 1. If the crowds keep coming in, we're going to go a little bit later. Uh, but basically, we're going to take in all types of electronic devices, uh, used equipment, uh, white goods. Uh, we can take uh, certain plastics, uh, anything that they want to try to recycle. Uh, they'll be able to bring it in and drop it off at no charge. Harris says the plan is to see how this free public event works out and possibly make the arrangement a little more permanent. Assistant City Manager Greg Shackelford says the company may be a lifesaver for the northern portions of the Dayton region now that the county's north transfer station is slated for closure later this year. The closure of the north transfer station uh, of the county building, uh, they're going to get some more opportunities to look at some bulk and, and some heavier duty recycling opportunities. Shackelford's been a busy guy these past few weeks as he's been following the progress on a number of development projects underway, including construction of a new facility for all services plastic molding. That's a 200 employee company setting up shop in Vandalia's Northwoods Business Park. It's all under roof out there now. If you, if you haven't been by there recently on Falls Creek, the building is a, it's a beautiful facility and uh, it's going to be a gym when it's all said and done. Construction is a little further along on Stone Quarry Crossings, where Carter Express is putting the finishing touches on a distribution center. They were really hoping to, to be uh, potentially have everything completed by May 1st, and uh, that would be the transition month, uh, probably June, when they would actually begin operations there. Uh, but things are things are moving right along now. The weather's you know been very cooperative, and uh, after they had their original setback in the fall, they seem to be going right along where they need to be now. 
Stone Quarry Crossings may soon be getting more construction soon, as another company has the site on a short list of possible locations for a food processing operation. It's a project called Foursquare, and uh, it's uh, for a, potentially a food processing company that's also looking at the Stone Quarry Crossing site. Uh, it could potentially bring us 120 jobs in about a three to four year period. Um, it's a, be about an 80,000 square foot facility on about 16 uh, acres of land out there. And uh, they would actually, if it works out, uh, they would have some uh, additional land opportunity for future expansion. And one other new company to talk about, General Pet Supply, is a distributor of pet food and pet supplies. Executive Bruce Seafeld says after a very short ramp-up period, the company is already open for business on Poe Avenue. General Pet Supply is a pet supply distributor. We distribute pet foods and accessories to pet stores, vet clinics, animal hospitals, kennels, breeders, groomers, anyone who would typically sell or use pet foods and accessories in their operation. Uh, we're the Midwest distributor for Hills Pet Nutrition. We distribute their science diet and prescription diet brand of pet food, food throughout the Midwest. Uh, we have five locations currently. Our corporate headquarters are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We have a second distribution center in Burnsville, Minnesota. We're in Kansas City, Wichita, and St. Louis. And now we're opening up a sixth distribution center here in the Vandalia area. And we're gonna be distributing the Hills Pet Nutrition products in the Ohio Valley, in Indiana, Ohio, Western Pennsylvania, Western West Virginia, and Northern Kentucky. The company typically needs about six months of planning and setup to be able to open a new location, but Seafelt says thanks to some cooperation from city of Vandalia officials, the startup time was literally cut in half. We need to get a lot of permits uh, to start construction on our office space, occupancy permits, and so the city of Vandalia has been very helpful in expediting those permits so we can get our warehouses built and our racking installed for our warehousing. While General Pet Supply is using the spring to wrap up construction, many of us will use this time of year to begin the process. If you have a project in mind for the spring or summer, Building Inspector Chris Mastrino has a word of advice. Make sure you have the necessary permits to get started. The process to get a permit to build a deck, a gazebo, or a fence is short and easy. Basically, you apply for a permit. We need two sets of drawings. Basically, it can be something sketched up by yourself or your contractor or whatever we need two sets of that a site plan which we can accommodate up here possibly get you a site plan and then fill out an application out it takes about a week week and a half to get a permit um, after that then we normally come out say for a deck we'll come out and do a footer inspection prior to pouring concrete then we'll do a framing inspection prior to putting deck boards down and then we kind of come out and do it the third time and do a final inspection you may wonder why the city is concerned about your backyard deck mastrino says the answer is simple safety safety. Uh, basically, um, if you got a, a deck that's eight foot off the ground and you don't have it anchored properly to the house or to the, to the post, I mean, you get four or five people out there that live load really, I mean, you could fall over, different things like that. A great general rule before beginning any project is to call the Department of Development and Engineering Services at 415-2342 first to see what might be required. Just give us a call. I mean, we'd rather just, we'd rather answer your question up front than have to come out later and tell you that you got to move something. I mean, we're here, like say, we'll be honest with you if you need to get a permit or not, or just what you want to do is fine. So Spring is also the time of the year when school kids find themselves with a little extra time on their hands. Elaine Kaler with the Vandalia Recreation Center says spring break is the perfect time to find out what her facility has to offer. And over spring break, the price is right. Where we usually charge $7 for an adult, $5 for a youth um, during the spring break. So March 26th to April 13th, uh, we will have um, $5 for an adult, $4 for a youth or senior. What does the admission price get you? Kaler says one low price pretty much gives you the run of the place. Well, we do have our um, amazing aquatic center uh, and our pool will be open um, from 1130 to um, 945 during the spring break time, um, as well as the slide, which we usually do not have open during the uh, week, uh, but it will be for spring break to get kitties out of the house and uh, parents some good quality family time. And how's this for an incentive? 
Right now, the center is running a promotion with the Vandalia Food Pantry. Bring in some food items for the pantry and get entered in an exciting drawing. We are um, having a gift certificate raffle. So for every five uh, canned goods or non-perishables you bring in, uh, your name gets put into a raffle for a $35 gift certificate to the Vandalia Recreation Center. Another special program at the Recreation Center involves kids making their moms feel loved. Recreation Supervisor Leah Hanahan says the Rose for Mom essay contest is a perennial crowd favorite. Rose for Mom is an essay contest where children in grades one through four can write an essay about how great their mom is um, and why their mom deserves a rose. So they can submit their essays through, some teachers do it at school, they can pick up an entry form at the rec center, um, just contact the front desk, we can get that for you. Um, and they just write an essay, 50 words or less, why their mom is great. Um, we go through and read through all of them and pick out three winners from each age group. And then we have a small reception here at the rec center on May 3rd. The banquet is set up to give moms a little special attention leading up to Mother's Day. It's really nice for the kids. They get to read their essays in front of their moms. At first, they're sometimes a little shy, but it's just a great time for the families to come together. Grandparents can come, anybody that wants to come, and um, the kids just get to share that, and then we give them a rose that they get to give to their mom. Moms who work may be interested in a unique summer camp that gives kids lots of recreation options over the summer months. Cruising with Kids Camp registration for Vandalia residents begins April 18th at 6.30 p.m. here at the Rec Center, and open registration is April 20th at 6 a.m. The summer camp is popular among parents who don't want their kids unsupervised at home over the long summer months. Rather than being bored sitting at the house, Hanahan says cruising with Kids Camp members get a full day of fun. The kids get to go swimming in the indoor pool every week. They climb the climbing wall. They play gym games, play outside. We take a field trip every week. Camp counselors are typically college age kids who get specialized training. All of our camp staff go through a training um, here at the rec center. They're all CPR certified and several of them are pursuing fields such as education, athletics, things like that, that really make them want to be involved with the children and safety is their number one priority. Put it all together, and the Cruising with Kids Camp is a very popular attraction for kids and their parents. The parents really like our flexibility. You can register for individual days that you need. You can register for full weeks. We're here from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can use any hours that you need. The parents like that we keep the kids active. Because of our facility that we have here, there's several things we can do inside the rec center, outside the rec center. We have the sports complex just right at our access, so the parents like that the kids are really active. Once again, the registration for Cruising with Kids Camp begins for Vandalia residents on April the 18th at 6.30 in the evening. Non-residents can begin signing up on April the 20th at 6.30 in the morning. The best way to get started is by visiting our website, vandaliaohio.org. And all this talk about warm weather might have you pining for the lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer. Recreation Supervisor Brett Byrne says when the mercury begins to rise, Castle Hills Pool becomes the place to be. The hotter we get, the, uh, the more people want to jump in and cool off, and there's no better place to go than Castle Hills Pool. Byrne says this year there's lots of special events scheduled. Uh, we have uh, several things set up. We have a, uh, a water carnival that we're actually going to start this year. Uh, We've got a whole bunch of fun games and prizes uh, in store for that. We've also got the Castle Hills Swim Team, uh, which will be having four home meets this year. So uh, people are more than welcome to stop on by and cheer on the piranhas. Uh, we'll have our customer appreciation days and our pass holder appreciation day as well. Another great thing about Castle Hills Pool is the price tag that comes with it. Compared to some private clubs, Castle Hills is a lot more affordable than you'd think. It's $115 for a VRC member to buy a Castle Hills Pass. Uh, for a resident of Vandalia who is not a VRC member, it's $130. And then we do make uh, an appropriation of 100 passes for the Butler Township residents at $150. Castle Hill Swimming Pool will be open for the first time this season on Memorial Day weekend. Because of the school season uh, getting out so late this year, uh, we are actually going to be open for Memorial Day weekend and then we shut down for a week. And then because school's getting out a little bit later this year and we have surrounding communities that are getting out earlier than our, our schools, we will open for a week 
uh, in the mornings from 11.30 to 4.30 uh, to try and cater to, to that demand. If you're interested in any of the programs we talked about today here at the Vandalia Recreation Center, your first stop should be the internet. Check out our website, www.vandaliaohio.org, for the latest information on recreation programs all summer long. That's going to do it for this edition of Vandalia, by the way. I'm Rich Hopkins. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.